All right, boy, the, the, the bells are ringing. They're throwing us out. Matsuno Fredrickson, uh, marketing director for Saldine Masts. Yes. And rigging and so on and so forth. Yeah. Look, we only have a few minutes, but, you know, you guys have a great booth. You have uh, a bunch of new products, as I can see. Talk to us about Saldine, about what's going on with the company and what your new products are. We have a lot of new products coming out. And, uh, beginning next year, we start to deliver our tracks and travelers. So we become more complete in the deck hardware business. Yeah. One year ago, we launched the blocks, fame bearing blocks and all bearing blocks. So now we follow up with the tracks and travelers and uh, roller bearing blocks and so forth. Have a very good uh, reaction from the OEM business. Well, now is this, I mean, did you develop this stuff? You have beautiful blocks, beautiful track. Did you develop it more to take back your, the business from the other suppliers that are that are supplying your masks, or is it more because you want to get into the aftermarket? We we want to become a complete uh, supplier of uh, sail handling, so uh, that's why we're following up with deck hardware in uh, combination with our masts and rigging, our traditional products and our Prolex jib furling systems. So this is a natural step. We have seen that the OEM market. They want to have fewer suppliers, fewer vendors, so this is our answer to it. We also have a Code X, Code Zero Furler. Where's up. that? It's over here. Show me. No, I'm okay. <laughs> Believe me. <laughs> this is the Code X Furler. Yep. Code Zero Sales, Janakers. With the swivel that you have for the top? That's right. This is a CX27. That, uh, 27, that stands for, uh, sorry, CX25 stands for two and a half tons uh, Tons of breaking uh, working load. Working load. So we are coming up with a CX15 and a CX40. Within the next year. But you're not calling it a Furlex? No, we call it a Seldin. Good. Seldin Code X Furlex. Got it, got it. Great interest for it. Sure, well look, I mean, uh, you have to offer what everyone else offers and hopefully you do a better job of it than, than some or most of them, right? We are very strong with the sail makers, thanks to the Furlex jib furling right. system, so we have good contacts. We have over 750 dealers worldwide and most of them are sail makers. So this is an ideal product for a sail maker to take on in the range. Yeah. Now, how has it, let's go back to the blocks here for a second. Matsuno, you now have blocks out for two years since we first met you back in Sweden. Yeah. Uh, you've now got them out. What's you know, how, how has the acceptance been amongst the OEM? What kind of boats are you on now, and how's the feedback been about your, your line? The feedback is good. Uh, we are supplying several uh, dinghy producers in England, performance sailcraft. We are standard equipment on the bike. We deliver the whole rig, the deck hardware even the rudder and the centerboards. So that was really the what uh, started up this uh, development of right, blocks. Right. Small bore barrel blocks for uh, dinghies. And then we continued with the plain barrel blocks. <laughs> so you now see our blocks on uh, many of the big OEMs here in Europe. And uh, we're also getting into the American market with uh, Hunter Marine now. So you're going to be on Hunter. very proud about. Big company. It's a big company. Big player on the market. Yeah, sure. So, um, and we are coming up. Have you seen the roller bearing blocks? I have you not. Should, I you have should not. bring your camera over to the roller bearing blocks. Where are they? On the other side. Okay, I'll do that. This is a 60 mil single block mm -hmm. torn on uh, roller bearings. Machine. And I mean, this is more of a Machine race product, yeah? It is. Yeah. It is. 1500 kilos working load. And the bearings are aluminum. Aluminium. The bearings are Torlon. Oh, Torlon, sorry. So you, now you've got roller bearing, plain bearing, and little and big, and really everything in the middle. Yeah. Um, let's ask you about this one. I know that uh, uh, one of the things that we were really interested to see was you guys building in a uh, skiff mast. Right, you, you built a skiff mast for Robert Greenhouse. Yeah, I think in here for his 18 footer. Is that right? Or for a 14 for I 14? Yeah, you know what we're talking that's, about. That's true. That was built in England in our uh, 
in your carbon in your carbon shop. So I mean, are, is there more of that going on from Seldine, or is there a call for that, or was it a good experiment? You know, where's where's the future of Seldine carbon now? Uh, very much into the keelboat range of products. We see OEM keelboat builders uh, taking on carbon most as uh, standard in the United States. Sure. You have the Landing School 30, for sure. instance. Yeah. Here in, in France you have uh, the EOL 7.4, so it's coming on. Trailerable boats, easier rigging, so uh, that's where we see a big expansion in the carbon section. And also, of course, we are growing all the time on the race uh, circuit up to 50 feet boats with carbon. So it's uh, we are filled up in our production scene until uh, May next year. Wow. So it's good. That's so we, great. Well, look, we love, you know, we need to work harder. harder we, all, we all have to work harder. We all have to work harder. But you guys are good citizens in my own hometown of Charleston. Yeah. Uh, and it's been great to meet you, and we'll keep an eye on Saldine. Obviously, uh, you guys have innovation and, and a, a really interesting setup in, in, in Jotterborg, and, and a really, I, I like the company philosophy, and I like the way that Swedes drink, too. Okay. I'd like to talk to you, Alan. All right. Matsuno, yeah. nice to see you again, man. Thank you. Ciao.